Hello everyone, my name is Holly and today I'm going to be speaking about Okinawan or as it's referred to as in the language communities, Yukonaguchi. So Yukonaguchi is spoken mainly on the island of Okinawa, which is part of the southern island chain of Japan. And after 500 years of independent rule, the Japanese imperial government decided to start to move its power and control throughout the southern islands, including Okinawa. In 1879, as the Ryukyu Kingdom slowly dissolved into the imperial government, the standard language of Japanese was pushed upon the Okinawans, whom did not even speak Japanese, but they used Yukonaguchi in the home and public spheres. It wasn't just Okinawan that was under threat, but the Yukonaguchi language is part of the language family Ryukyuan, which consists of many separate languages. The imperial government sought to have these languages as dialects of Japanese. However, as you look into my next tree, um, you can see the two languages side by side. This is because many linguists, academics, and public figures in the Okinawan community consider the languages as sisters. This is based off of mutual unintelligibility. However, as the standard language of Japanese started to become implemented within the Okinawan structure, many playwriters and poets still used yukonaguchi in their arts. This is because for hundreds of years, yuka, the usage of yukonaguchi in plays and other visual arts was a way to express Okinawan identity and culture. And then here came World War II, and at the end of the Battle of Okinawan, over 150,000 civilians had lost their lives. This is in part due to the imperial government sacrificing the Okinawan population, or even considering them spies of the Americans or a threat to national security and would just have them blatantly killed. However, the American, the American occupation of Okinawan started to take root. The American government pushed for Okinawans to use their language instead of standard Japanese. However, as teachers and even structures were completely obliterated, 90, and 90% of the Okinawan population were homeless, they didn't even have the resources or the capabilities to think about using their own language. And even Okinawan at this time was not a written language. If it was, it was used in katakana, which is part um, of the Japanese writing system. The Okinawans, which were suffering from alcoholism and prostitution brought on by the Americans wanted to reunify with Japan. This further pushed the Yukonaguchi language out of the picture. As the American occupation dwindled to an end, the imperial government once again set about implementing standard language of Japanese. As you see in front of you, one of the ways they did this were by posting flyers throughout the community. Standard Japanese was also forced into the public education system. Students could only use Japanese, and in fact, if they were caught using Okinawan, they were forced to wear dialect tags, which subjected them to physical and verbal assaults by their peers and teachers. The student given the dialect tag were demanded to give it to another student caught speaking Okinawan. As the younger generations started to only use standard Japanese, the speaker numbers of Yukonaguchi slowly started to become lower and lower. And in fact, today, um, according to some sources, only 10% of the Okinawan community actually speaks Yukonaguchi as a first language. However, this number is kind of skewed because as a first language, the numbers also included um, the fact that maybe not all these people are fluent, right? They, a lot of them are actually still just semi-speakers. While the speaker numbers seem bleak, the Okinawan language is far much more than a statistic. In fact, it is an identity. The language is starting to be implemented within the traditional plays. Poems are being recited. There are television shows and radio hosts that are using Yukonaguchi, not just on the island of Okinawa, but also in language communities found in Bolivia, Hawaii, and few other places throughout the world. The language of Yukonaguchi, however, still faces many challenges, such as the Okinawan prefecture still does not consider it its own language. It will not provide any funding or usage of the language. It won't even allow usage of the language in the education system. Besides a language class, one or once or every two months. However, in places like Hawaii, there are whole workshops based on finding not just how to use the language, but also the Okinawan identity, which makes the language beautiful and intricate. Ni fair diwiru. Thank you. Thank you for watching. And like I said, check out those YouTubers. They're fun videos with animated cats, and it's a blast to even just hear the language. 
I hope all of you are doing well. Thank you for watching.